Hello. This is John, a member of WorldBuild. Today we're going to focus on how to install CityBuild from downloading the launcher to using CityBuild in Unreal Engine and also installing CityKits while we're at it. To simplify the CityBuild installation, let's break it down into five steps that you can see on the screen here. For step one, we'll start by heading over to worldbuild.com on your preferred browser and signing in to our account. If you own a CityBuild license, you should see downloads at the top of the page. Let's click on Downloads and download the WorldBuild Launchpad. I see that the download is complete, so let's run the executable. Now that we're at the sign-in page on the Launchpad, either log in with the account you used to purchase, or if you're part of a team, log in with the email the administrator has assigned a seat to. Now that we're in Step 2, we'll select our current engine version on the bottom left. I'm currently on Unreal Engine 5.3. We'll click on Tools, select City Build, and now we see a download button and installation path at the bottom window. I can now confirm that the World Build folder is in the correct location where I need it to be, that being in my Unreal Engine 5.3 plugins folder. Please note that you can click on this to modify it if you installed your engine somewhere else or if you wish to install it to your project, but in most cases, you'll want to leave it at its default. Let's click download and it should take less than a minute. So we're all set now. And if you ever need to move or repair your installation, you can click on the settings button. How about we take a brief pause before we get into step three in enabling our city build plugin within Unreal and let's discuss how to install city kits themselves. To install a city kit, there's only one step to follow in this tutorial and that's to download a kit. So let's click on kits in the launch pad. As you can see, we have two kits to browse from. Since we're here, let's download the Modern City Kit first and make certain to select our target Unreal Engine version on the left side. As mentioned before, I'm currently on Unreal Engine 5.3, so I'll just click on that. Just like we did with installing City Build earlier, we'll find our destination path and download button at the bottom and confirm that it's correct. I've confirmed that it's where I need it to be on my C drive, so I'll click download. Please note on two things. Firstly, Make certain to have at least 100 gigabytes free on your drive. Secondly, it's important to note that this particular download is fairly large and may take a while to complete. So now back in step three, we've opened up a project in Unreal Engine. Let's go to Edit, Plugins, and let's type in City in the search bar. We see that we have our City Build tool and all of our kits in the plugin. Let's select them and be sure that at least both City Build and Sample City Kit are enabled. But before we hit restart, let's stay on the safe side and go into our project settings, scroll down to rendering under engine, and click on enable virtual texture support and on its opacity mask as well. We'll hit restart. Do note that it might take a while to restart due to virtual texture support being enabled. We do this mainly to avoid any material issues that may happen without virtual textures being added to a project settings. In step four, we'll need to connect our city build license between your account on world build through the plugin and vice versa. To do that, let's go to the city builder mode and notice we have a license requirement. We'll click on get license file, which will take us to our license management page on the world build website. Once you're logged in, you can manage your license and add seats here. City build requires a seat matching your device's unique ID. This is your HWID. Let's go back to the City Builder mode and copy our HWID to the right of our unique ID here. We will return to the World Build website, paste the HWID into the Add Seat tab, choose which of your licenses you want to assign it to, and hit Add Seat. We have a button that lets us download the license file. Let's click on this, let it download, and return again to our City Builder mode. Next to license file, there are three dots we'll need to select and simply choose the .lic file you downloaded recently. It is important to note that if you are using CityBuild under a license that was purchased by someone else in your organization, they are an administrator and will have to manage all seats from their account. Please send your admin your personal HWID and they will send back the generated license file for you to load in. Lastly, in step five, we now see multiple tabs across City Builder and have access to our general tab. 
Underneath, we have our downloaded city kits with their updated versions and patches, which we may simply click the plus button next to a kit and the city build interface will activate. If you're new to city build or just want to play around, we created a simple view that lets you do just that. Let's head on over to your settings tab. Let's scroll to switch to simple view and enable switch to simple view and always show simplified tools overlay. Now we can see five tools at the bottom of our viewport, which reduces the learning curve and gives you easy access to all the core functionality of city build with very few buttons to click with. Thank you for watching our tutorial on how to install city build. We wish you the best on the beginning of your devving journey with city build and please stick around as multiple useful tutorials will come right here on this channel. Happy building everybody.